How's it going everybody? Daner here with North Central Coins and welcome to the first episode of the most rare and valuable coins of China. Today I'm going to be counting down the top 10 most valuable Chinese coins that you can find whether it is in your pocket change, whether you're coin roll hunting, or maybe one of these drops out of the sky out of a balloon that's floating overhead. I'm just fooling around. But I'm gonna save you guys the pain in this video of putting a voice over top. I'm not sure if you guys saw my videos on the valuable Australian and British pennies where I was trying out some new tech and I put an Australian and British voice over. I could put an Oriental accent over this video, but I figured I'd save you and myself the trouble of having to hear that one and I would just do this voiceover myself so hopefully you guys don't mind but before I do start this top 10 list off I would really appreciate if everybody would hit that thumbs up subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can see my new videos as they are being released in the past I've made several videos detailing the rare and valuable Canadian American Australian New Zealand British and coins from all around the world. And I'm gonna be making a whole heck of a lot in the future, so make sure to stay tuned as those are being released. But what do you say we get into this one and I count down the top 10 most valuable Chinese coins that you can find. Let's get it, guys. So as I start this list off, I'm not going to go in any particular order. A lot of these coins are worth hundreds of thousands of dollars, so they are pretty much all really good to look for. I also apologize if I mispronounce any of the names. I am definitely not fluent in Chinese Mandarin or any of the languages that are native to the region, but I will do my best for you guys, and I will most likely throw translations on as well. Now all of that being said, what do you say we start things off with number 10 on this list, which is going to be the Republic of China 1932 Sen Yat Sen Gold Standard 10 Cent Silver Pattern Coin. Now this coin from 1932 has a place in history as one of the first ever produced by the Shanghai Mint. It bears the portrait of Sen Yat Sen, and this version is known as the Gold Standard 10 Cent. This silver plain edge variant is just one of the finest coins in the series and only four examples are known to exist. The one that you're looking at is graded MS63 by NGC and is the finest quality of them all. When it came up for auction in 2021, it sold for a hammer price of $210,000 plus a 25% buyer's premium. That was comfortably above the pre-sale estimate of $60,000 to $120,000. So that means most likely he paid somewhere around $250,000 American. Number 9 is going to be the Republic of China 1914 Yan Shai Kai $1 Silver Signature. This coin from 1914 is valuable not only for its historical significance, but for the pedigree of its engraver. It bears the signature of El Giorgi, an Italian who is most famous of all the engravers of Chinese coins. Giorgi originally produced a portrait of Yan Shai Kei from a photograph, but after he had met the president, he asked for permission to produce new dyes, feeling he could improve on the likeness. This portrait, showing Yan in profile, was the result. The coin you're looking at, graded SP65 by NGC, is the finest known specimen in existence. It's not surprising that there was fierce competition when it was offered for sale in 2021 and it eventually sold for $420,000. Number 8 is the Republic of China ND 1912 Yan Shikai $1 Brass. This fascinating coin is thought to be a trial piece. One side bears a portrait originally thought to be Shang Ti Chun, who until 1911 was the governor of the Kiangsu province but after many years, it was discovered to instead depict Yan Shai Kai. Yuan was a military and government official under the Qing Dynasty. After trying to save the dynasty with modernizing reforms, he later played a key role in forcing the emperor to abdicate. And after negotiations in 1912, he became the first ever president of the Republic of China. The identity of the portrait sitter was not the only mystery about this coin. It's generally believed to have been made at the Sochow Mint, a relatively minor mint that may have been the result of political chaos at the time when two separate governments were claiming to lead China. This particular coin is only one of its kind to have been certified by an independent coin grading specialist and is the finest known example. It came up for auction in 2015 and sold for $345,000. 
Number seven is the 1929 Republic of China SYS Globe Dollar Silver Pattern Coin. This coin from 1939 was the first ever Chinese coin to feature a map or globe in its design. One side depicts two crossed flags above a globe. The other carries the portrait of Sun Yat-sen. He played a leading role in overthrowing the Qing Dynasty and is known as the father of the nation in China. Some believe that it was struck at the Tencent Mint, possibly using dyes produced overseas. A Chinese economic bulletin of September 1929 refers to the National Treasury seeking bids from overseas producers for four coins featuring Sun Yat-sen, one of which may be this design. Just a handful of examples of this coin type are known to exist, and all are different from one another. This one is graded MS65 by NGC and was offered for sale at auction in 2016. The hammer price was $400,000 with a successful bidder also paying a buyer's premium of 21%. Number 6 is the 1916 Republic of China Shai Kai $1 Silver Flying Dragon. We've already seen that the $1 coins dated 1916 and depicting Yang Shai Kai are highly collectible. This second example also came up for auction in 2021 but this one was a little bit different. In this case, there's clear space between the top of Yan's hat and the rim of the coin, and the flying dragon on the other side is depicted with great delicacy and detail. Graded MS64 by NGC, it's the finest known example in existence, so for collectors of Chinese coins, it's a highly desirable specimen. That was reflected in his pre-sale estimate of $200,000 to $400,000, but when the auction got underway, that estimate was soon left far behind. The eventual hammer price was $520,000 and the winning bidder would have to pay a buyer's premium of 25%, bringing the total to an astonishing $650,000. Number 5 is the 1916 Republic of China Yan Shai Kai $1 Hat Touching Brim. This $1 coin was apparently produced to mark the enthronement of Yan Shai Kai as Emperor Hung Hasen, but the real date of this coin is shrouded in mystery. An authoritative 1917 article on Chinese coins makes no mention of its existence, suggesting it was not actually produced until some time later. Various different theories abound, but all agree that the coin was actually produced after Yan Shai Kai's death, somewhere in the period between 1917 and 1920. This particular coin was even more mysterious because unlike most of the Yan Shai Kai dollars, this one has the emperor's hat touching the rim of the coin. It is thought to be an experimental piece and it has great rarity. It was last offered for sale at auction in 2021. The guide price was $60,000 to $120,000, but the competition amongst bidders was fierce. The winning bid was eventually $420,000 and the successful collector had to pay another $105,000 on top for the buyer's premium. Number 4 is the 1897 China Qiangnan 20 cent silver pattern coin. This 20 cent coin was struck for China's Qiangnan province in 1897. It was another of the designs produced for the Chinese government by the English coin producers at Heaton's Mint. In fact, it was one of the earliest examples of Chinese coins by the manufacturer and it features a beautiful and detailed image of a dragon. This one is a specimen coin, which also makes it rare and collectible. It was graded SP67 by PCGS out of a possible maximum of 70, so it is in excellent condition. It came up for sale in Hong Kong in the year 2018 with an estimate of $40,000 to $80,000. In the event, it made nearly the top of the range selling for $78,000. Alright, now this one I am a thousand percent going to get wrong on the name, but I'm going to do my best here. Number three on this list is going to be the 1896 China Hyang Yang Kiang 50 cent brass pattern coin. Early in the 19th century, many Chinese coins were minted overseas in places like Philadelphia in the US, Birmingham in the UK, and in Germany. This brass 50 cent coin was struck from dyes made by Otto Bess, a German manufacturer based in the town of Esslingen. Bess specialized in Chinese coins and won some of the biggest commissions of the period. He eventually produced more than 200 different dyes for the Chinese authorities. Today, German patterns of Chinese coins are highly sought after by collectors. This 50 cent coin by Beck came up for auction in 2021. It was graded MS for Mint State 62, making it the finest known example in existence. It comfortably exceeded its pre-sale estimate of $60,000 to $120,000, selling for $140,000. 
Number two is going to be the 1902 China Chek Kiang 20 cent silver proof pattern coin. This 1902 coin from the Chek Kiang province was produced for China by the Heaton Mint in Birmingham in the United Kingdom. It features a drunken dragon, the only issue of the Heaton's coins to use that design. The coins feature in various denominations with only a handful of each. This 20 cent example is one of between 6 and 8 specimens known to exist. There are similar populations for the 10 and 5 cent coins. This example was graded SP66 by PCGS, meaning that it is a specimen coin that falls slightly short of the quality of a proof coin, but is better in quality than standard currency coins made for circulation. This coin sold in the same 2018 auction as the Kwai Chow 1928 auto silver dollar and made $88,000. That might sound like a lot, and it is, but if you were to go get your hands on a silver dollar from the same series, it would be worth a lot more. Only two are known to exist, and both made around $1 million when they last came up for sale. Well, we have already breezed through and made it to number one on this list. I really hope you guys enjoy these videos and find them helpful. I have made plenty in the past detailing all the rare and valuable coins from countries all around the world, and I'm going to be making more in the future. So please make sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you can see my new videos as they are being released. And then what do you say we get into number one on this list, which is going to be the 1928 China Kwai Chow Auto Silver Dollar. Now this 1928 coin has a very interesting story. It depicts the only car in the remote Chinese province of Kwai Chow at that time. This coin was struck for the governor of the province, Chao His Cheng. Under his instructions, a road had recently been built there, part of an effort to transport grain and relieve famine in the region. The road had been partly funded by the International Famine Relief Commission. The car belonged to Governor Chao, and getting it to Kwai Chow had required considerable effort. The American model had been bought in Canton. It was taken apart there and transported to Kwai Chow on foot, a distance of around 700 miles. The question of where the coin was struck is almost as intriguing. There was no mint in Kwai Chow in 1928, so some believe the coin must have been made in Sichuan. Others speculate that it was minted in Kwai Chow on stolen machinery, perhaps looted by Chow soldiers from the Chungking Mint. This particular coin was graded AU58 by the Professional Coin Grading Service. This means that the coin's been circulated, but it only has the slightest signs of wear on its raised areas. It was sold in 2018 at Hong Kong Auctioneer's Champion Auctions. The estimate was $50,000 to $100,000, but it sold for a mid-estimate of 70,000 British pounds. Well, we have made it through this list, and I have broken down the top 10 most valuable Chinese coins of all time. I'm definitely going to be making more lists on the future, covering some of the more common circulating Chinese coins that you can find. I have actually found several Chinese bills and coins that were given to me by people that basically just know that I'm a collector and they like to give me stuff. And I have found Chinese coins in my coin roll hunts before as well. If you guys would like to go check out some of my older coin roll hunting videos, you would be amazed at some of the stuff that I was able to find. We found foreign coins, we found silver, we found holy grails, heirs, all sorts of good stuff. It is amazing what can be out there as long as you know what to look for. So I definitely suggest going and giving those a little look-see just to give you guys an idea of what can be out there. But that is pretty much going to do it for this one. So thank you for watching everybody. Until the next one, peace out and have a good one y'all. Thank you.